Oh man, here we go, man. A new podcast, brand new episode. For the first time in a long time, I'm personally sitting down with Charleston White. Yeah, yeah, personally yeah, sitting yeah, down yeah, with yeah, Charleston yeah, this is our reunion, yeah, Had yeah. to bring Dewberry in too, we just did a classic. Yeah. Got my boy Third in, man, how you doing? Black man? How y'all feeling? Yes, sir. Happy holiday, yes, sir. man. And, and you know, we, when we do Charleston, Dewberry, we just did a classic. Yeah. When we do our interviews, I'm not really there. No. Nah. Let's let the cat out the bag. Like I'm not really there. It look like Pat be thinking I'm there. I, I try, I try, I try to play like you there. Like the last, yeah. the last v- interview, I ran at the camera. Like should I run at you, Sean? Yeah, I try to play like right, you. Right, right, right. So it, it's just a blessing to have you here, man. You know, I started my podcast, and we do so many good things, man. Everywhere I go. People mention your name. Bar- My dad won't stop talking about you. Who, you know me? Yeah. You know, I call him Pop, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, every yeah. time I talk to him, yeah, how's Charleston doing? Silly. Everywhere I go, people ask me about Charleston, man. So it's a blessing to have you here. Uh, man, man that, that, for the most part, there's people who, who, who've met me in person. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to like me just watching me on the internet and, and seeing me in snippets. Uh, but, but if you actually meet me in person and, and get to see the, the, the spirit of the man, the, the aura, uh, then, then it, it kind of changes how, how, how you see me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, let, let's go ahead and, and, and get to, to what's, you know, the word on the internet right now. The the You going to prison. I mean, you going to jail. Uh, it's a mugshot of you that went around. You being charged for animal cu- cruelty. Yeah. Um, and aggravated assault. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Uh, yeah, they lying like a motherfucker. Yeah, I ain't done a motherfucking thing uh, to no motherfucking animal. Uh, uh. I may kick my dog in the ass. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. When the bills is, is, is piling up, yeah, I may kick my dog and may not feed him for a few days. I don't pet him and I leave him outside longer than I was supposed to during the hot summer months. But that's my motherfucking dog. Hmm. But I ain't done nothing to nobody else's uh, animal. And as a matter of fact, the, the guy who cat that was, see, I was sitting in the car, homie, hmm. uh, playing. With the you know with the cats because he got a lot of cats. Right. So I say a lot of things online and people take serious. So they were taking it serious. But the owner of that cat was sitting in the car. So he came forward. Uh, so he go come call the prosecutor's office and let them know, man, that 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 was bullshit. And that video was from a year and a half ago. That's crazy. Yeah. So they called me a year and a half ago and said, Hey Charles, and we getting calls that you saying you may. I said, Man, that's faking the motherfucker, man. Yeah. Y'all put y'all sitting up falling for this shit. Yeah. I got all y'all captivated. He said, Yeah, you better be careful. So. When the FBI pulled me over, homie, the FBI pulled me over because they got a call because I was online playing like I got Chinese women tied up. And I was saying, chong, 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 chong. So some people really called the FBI and said that I had Chinese girls kidnapped and tied up. So the FBI went to my mama house, homie. Uh, and so, so when the FBI finally got me, they said, uh, Charleston, we get a lot of calls on you. Mm. So a lot of people call in on me, homie. Just dry call in. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's one of these things. And so uh, the, the aggravated assault, uh, with a deadly weapon, I ain't gonna say too much on it, but uh, 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 if you watch the video when 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 the guy hit me, he stands. That just leaked this morning, he, right? He, he, he's, yeah. So, but they won't release the whole video. Mm. You only see a snippet, right? So he's six foot four, every bit of two hundred and twenty, so two forty. So he's a Deontay Wilder kind of size nigga. Mm. His hands is big. He had a three eighty or, or like a twenty five. So when you see, I'm sleep, homie. I've been sleep for like twenty minutes. You see, when he hit me, he hits up with the butt of the gun. You can see the puncture wound right there. Mm-hmm. So I was leaking. I just cleaned it up before I went live on the camera. But nigga, I was leaking. And you can see the abrasion from the butt of the gun. So you can see. So all the witnesses placed the gun in his hand. There was one witness that gave a detailed account that said he handed the gun to Man Man. Man Man put the gun in his right back pocket. Mm-hmm. That's why they won't show that whole video. Mm-hmm. That's why they only show snippets. So some kind of way, uh, there was a video released uh, of me uh, going to go get a gun. And, 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 and in this video, it, it, it makes it appear and, and, and seem as if uh, I'm chasing after them mm. with my gun. You woke up this morning and seen it. What was your thoughts? Uh, uh, if he really hit me with a blow instead of the gun, I wouldn't have been able to jump on my feet because I didn't see the punch. I was asleep. So I don't know how I got hit. Mm. I just felt it, right? Mm. So if he really hit me with a punch, Homie, the size of him and the magnitude of that blow wouldn't allow me to stay there. Thanks. It wouldn't allow me to, the, the momentum of that. And he did this. He, nigga, who was nigga punched like that? Yeah. That's because he got the gun cuffed. That's why they won't show you the whole video when he had the gun and man, 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 put it in his back pocket. So, nigga, I don't know my wife is upstairs. 
I don't know my wife in the building. If not, I wouldn't have stopped her because I've been, you know, I ain't been home in a few days. And I didn't want to explain why I ain't been home. So, yeah, no, nah, homie. Uh, so, so she was upstairs, her and her mother, getting her hair done. So I'm dazed when a nigga hit me. I don't know who hit me. I don't know who's standing in front of me talking to me. Nigga, I'm dazed. All I hear is a woman's voice to try to come get in front. I said, no, no, ma'am. I said, no, ma'am, you good. I hear my wife's voice. Call the police. I don't give a damn about the police. I don't know who he trying to hurt at this point. Everybody in danger in my mind. He's a known killer, a, 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 a well-known gang leader of the four trade gangster Crips. And if you want to know more about this story uh, and, and about this guy, uh, and just in respect to the court system uh, and all of that, I won't say his name because he's a victim of my case. Mm. But if you want to know more about this guy, uh, he was an FBI informant, a uh, killer, gangster snitch. Uh, he ruled in the city. Uh, everybody in the city is afraid of him. And so I'm playing snitch. Ain't no paperwork on me. So anytime I get mad at a street nigga in my city, I say, say, you bitch ass nigga won't say such and such is a snitch. And I call him a snitch. So when Twisted Black came home, homie, Twisted Black tried to shame him when he was in prison. Tried to talk down on him, made a song about him. And when Twisted Black came home, every gangster in the city, along with this gangster snitch, Hug together, they still hit his G's. So he's still a gangster, homie, even though he snitched in the fishbowl. This is a legendary, historic drug case, homie. This is the modern day Donnie Brasco. It's called The Life of the Fishbowl, written by Tegan Broadwater. Mm -hmm. One white boy, homie, one white police officer went down into an all black community and arrested 52 notorious gang members. Murder, dope, everything. So the nigga who assaulted me is a killer. He a child molester. So he the G nigga in the neighborhood that fucked the 13 year old, get the 15 year old pregnant. Mm. When the 15 year old daddy find out she was pregnant, he beat up the daddy. He lift the nigga up in there and slap him. He slap, he whoop niggas. Mm. So if he, he's known, nigga, he boxed too. So imagine had he hit me with the blow without the gun. I wouldn't have been able to withstand that blow, homie, sleep. Did you expect that video to come out? No. Nah. You didn't hear like rumors like yeah, uh, that, that video make. Is uh, uh well somebody tried to sell it to me for seventy five hundred dollars so so we can show him holding the gun. Mm. Somebody offered to sell it to me for seventy five hundred dollars. And you was like fuck that. Uh, uh niggas gonna come out. Mm. You got witnesses that place it. You got three me and two other witnesses that place a, a a gun in his hand. Saw it. I see the gun coming back from the blow when I do this. I see it in his hand, but it's cuffed. But yeah, that's what I'm going to say about that. But that's why I be telling you, man, stop going live, bro. Uh, I be telling you that, like, uh, you don't got to prove yourself. Uh, man, motherfucker can't tell me I can't go live. Stop but shit going like, live. But shit like that happens. Let it keep happening. Nigga, I'm on, I'm on, I like to go live. So I'm going to stop doing what I like to do. No, nigga, we be both be willing to die about this. Because this is my right. You attacking me for what I said. So now you violate my constitutional rights of free speech, gangster, killer, convict. I'm just saying you got too much going on. Oh uh, man, keep keep whooping for a nigga me. like that. Keep keep whooping me then, my nigga, because I'm gonna keep going live wherever I want to go live at home. Right. I'm a real brave heart, nigga. I don't succumb to pressure. I'm a diamond, nigga. I shine up under pressure. Nigga, I don't fold up on no motherfucking pressure, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, do you give him this advice like, yo, my nigga, like bro, you don't bro. gotta prove. I ain't one proving day. nothing. Well, I'm day. doing what I want to do. And a man wake up and do what the fuck he want to do. That's what a man do. 100%. So what, what, Shit. So what you got to realize is like, when you know Charleston, you get the understanding of who Charleston is. A lot of people don't really know Charleston. And Charleston is the type of person that he's going to move off his own vibration. So by me being his partner for so many years, I understand that. You see what I'm saying? But he's not gonna put himself in no messed up situation. Even with that barbershop incident. That was a situation that it wasn't about going live. It was more about niggas putting down plays. See, see they tricked, see they played you on my see they were playing on my brother with that prison shit. Mm -hmm. See, homie, I don't get my hair cut. Homie, I get my hair cut by Kendrick Lamar's former barber, homie, John Mosley. One of the most top premier hair barber cut motherfuckers in the entertainment industry. 
This nigga teach Paul Mitchell College. So he's the main nigga, right? So that's who cut my hair. So nigga, I don't go to the hood. But I know that when my brother come home, nigga, these niggas got action at me. Because my brother fuck with these niggas from that penitentiary shit. So now they got action at me through my brother. My brother been gone 31 years, homie. I can't tell him now, nah, man, don't fuck with them niggas. Man, keep quick bragging them niggas about mama hair. Nigga, don't cut no nigga hair over her, nigga. I don't fuck with none of them niggas. Nigga, I've been getting into it with your homeboy, my nigga. These your homeboy. I've been getting into it with these niggas while you gone. These the gangbanging niggas I've been talking about. Homie, this is why I shame this city. Because all these niggas, homie, had everybody scared. Nigga, they slap niggas' mamas, whoop niggas' daddies, fuck niggas' daughters, rob you, kill you. But when this one white man get them, homie, all of them start telling. And these is the niggas we looked up to, homie. These is our Tookie Williams and our Monster Cody's, nigga. And our, these are our niggas that the street and all them niggas folded. And y'all gonna come back to the city and still play gangster? Not while I'm alive, nigga. I ain't, I ain't snitched on now, nigga, nigga. But I play snitch by way of community activists. So guess what? You a snitch, you a snitch, and all you niggas that still hanging with him, y'all some weak ass nigga because y'all ain't standing on them codes. When he came to the old man, when he came to the old man, the old man told him, you can't come in this building no more, brother. You know you broke the law. You broke the nigga nation law. Nigga, you done gave one of your people up to them white folk. You can't come here no more. And the old nigga had tears in his eyes when he told him that because he was a well-beloved G nigga. So nigga, take your lick. So you go whoop me because I'm the only nigga brave enough to call you snitch. And I still call you snitch, nigga. You snitch, didn't you? Your name is documented in federal paperwork, nigga. You gave up killers, nigga, your little homies, and y'all had dope cases. You gave up your killers who killed for you, nigga. You gave up your killers who killed for you, bitch ass nigga. And y'all had dope cases. They got life, you home, nigga. You scared niggas who didn't have nothing to do with nothing not to tell on you. They got 70 years, nigga. And you home, still playing gangster, snitch. And the reason why these niggas won't say nothing to him, you know what he told these niggas before he came home? Can't nobody whoop me, so I'm coming back to the city. So they hit his C's and lock his G's when they see him. I shame these niggas, homie. I don't shame just the snitch niggas. I shame the killers. I'm the first nigga in America to stand up to gangbangers, homie, with this bra bravado -ness. I ain't go. I ain't go cow out now, nigga. You didn't think I don't. You don't know I don't think this shit come with this. You don't think I don't know, nigga, saying fuck this, fuck that. You don't think I know this don't come with this, nigga. I put this suit on. Did nobody put this jacket on me? I chose to wear this suit and speak like this, nigga. And I ain't changed my tune yet. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. You had the same message even before the. Nigga, I ain't changed my tune yet, nigga. That's how I found you. My bro. lip ain't been fat, nigga. My eye ain't black. Uh, nigga, I just bought new jewelry and all that shit today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 nigga. I'm still winning. And I, I like to mention how I found you. Uh, you was already doing, you know, your consistent thing, um, but you you went viral for going in on the PS5. The PS5. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, 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 PlayStation. Ad and I, I, had, <laughs> I had hit you up on Facebook like, "Yo, let's get one in." Like, we got it. Like, I'm the owner of Say Cheese. Like, yeah. I want to interview you, and you didn't hit me back for. like I didn't a, know who you were. Yeah, you didn't hit me back for like a week or two. So yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, Damn, I thought that like, Say Cheese T shit, that that smile and teeth lips was some weenie shit. <laughs> Yeah, man, who the fuck is this little nigga, man? Them big old smiling teeth. Man, say cheese. Say cheese. So you seen me, so you seen me DM you, you ain't you hit me. No, that. I was ignoring you. But uh uh Damn. I, I think Jonathan Stewart or somebody else said, man, that's say cheese TV, that's where you wanna go. So niggas, they told me who you were. So when I sat down with you, I had no idea how big you were. Yeah. And then we did the interview. The footage got stolen. Yeah, that. Hey, 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 homie, ass, hey, hey, homie, if we can find that footage, man, homie, just, that was crazy, bro. Yeah. Cause that was like not even the character. That was nah. like your real story. Yeah, that was my real story. Captured, told by me in in in, in a real Charleston white uh uh delivery. Uh, no acting, no nothing. You know. Uh, yeah, it, it was. You, deep. you seem happier these days, though. Oh, uh, I It seems like I'm, when I first met you, you was real angry. Uh, nigga, I was coming from being broke. Yes. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Uh, yeah, nigga. <laughs> the son say, "Daddy, can I get twenty dollars?" And you say, "No." And then you come back again, five. But you need that fire. Mm. Nigga, them days long gone. Yeah, yeah, nah, them days long gone. Yeah, yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, nigga, nigga. Say, homie, uh, I probably did 50,000 this week, homie. Damn. 
I probably right. did 50,000 this week, homie. Do you ever sit back like, you made it? Or is it like a, I got to get it some more? I got to get some more. 100%. Uh, 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 because the more I make, nigga, the more I got to get to the tax man. Mm. So, so, so I need, so, so, uh, yeah, I need one big, big one and then split that with the tax man. Then I'm all right. You seem like the type to say, fuck IRS, though. You lying to me? <laughs> <laughs> so that's I, one nigga I, you ain't. You, I, one. I, nigga, I say, fuck CPS. <laughs> I say, fuck the police. Uh, but nigga, the IRS and the FBI, them two motherfuckers, I ain't finna say fuck. So did you turn yourself in or did you get arrested? Oh uh, no, no, we had we, we had been working on this for two weeks. Remember, yeah. I, 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 when I when they first hit me with the warrant, right? So so this is what I knew, and 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 I man, let me just follow my lawyer's advice. My lawyer said we just want this to fly under the radar, but I, I said some things uh, uh, in that Cam Newton interview, homie, that that brought some skeletons out the closet locally, mm. uh, p- politically wise. Uh, homie, I used to be very politically active and, and connected in, in, in the city, uh, from from Ca- Councilman Caraway uh, to, to to Mayor Bessie Price. Uh, yeah, so so. Uh, but I I went rogue, right? I went radical. Start growing my dreads out. Stop wearing my bow tie. So I went nigga, 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 hmm. nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it broke everybody's heart, homie. So I kind of fell from grace. Uh, and then I and then. Uh, I became hurt in the process, right? So, I remember somebody telling me, saying, Charleston, if you don't put no 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 business uh, with your passion in the community, you go get burnt out within five years. And that's what happened to your community workers, homie. They start out so passionate uh, about wanting to help and, and do this, but nigga, they don't get the support. They don't get the financial support. So they start spending their own money. And then they get home, they can't pay their bills. Mm. So a, a, a level of resentment starts to, to come about towards your people. And then they start talking about you. Uh, then they start lying on y'all. You working with the police, you got these white folk. And you're like, nigga, I'm really trying to help exactly, these kids. And yeah. y'all ain't really trying to help it. <laughs> so uh, now it's like, nigga, fuck you, nigga. Yeah. So now it's like, nigga, fuck y'all hood. Yeah, now it's like, nigga, fuck y'all set. Mm. Now it's like, nigga, fuck y'all rapper. Nigga, fuck y'all, because this is all the detriment. Uh, and, 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 and you saying this, homie, because uh, you feeling betrayed, because people done came and worked with you and left because they didn't get no money. Uh, you feeling uh, abandoned. Uh, you feeling used because the white politicians done came down and hugged and took pictures with you, and they not helping you get no grant funding. The police done come down here and gave away bikes and turkeys and gun buybacks, and nigga, they ain't come. So now you left out here in the community on your own. And your community say, oh, you sold out. Look at him now. Them white folks don't let him down. So now you like, fuck the police. Fuck the community. Fuck everything. Nigga, I hate everything. Roaches, rats. So that's where that come <laughs> from. <laughs> but, 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 but that came from when a nigga get in the shower and, and he praying and talking to God and say, man, I hate these niggas. But you don't want to hate your people. You don't want no hate in your heart. <laughs> so you saying, God, man, don't let my heart get hardened toward my own people. Well, how can I not hate these niggas? Pretend like you hate them and work on that. Mm-hmm. Pretend like you hate this shit, nigga. I thought you said you hate rapper. You hear me listen to rap music, nigga. Right. Yeah. I hate the message that these niggas. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. when well, you say you hate this, I'm pretending, nigga. When well, you say you hate white people, I'm pretending, nigga. So that's how I came to pretend and not be hateful. To get past wanting to be hateful. Nigga, because it, it, it's some stages in your life, homie, you want to be hateful. Uh, you want to do wrong. You want to lie. Sometimes you want to steal. There are some stages in life where you go through that. Huh? You don't want to do right because of what you're going through. Uh, and I was coming out of that, uh, try, trying to find, uh, trying to find a, a place in, in society outside of fatherhood. Because if a nigga gets stuck in fatherhood, he'll be depressed if he financially struggled. Nigga had to be depressed at home with the motherfucking kid, mean in the motherfucker. Yeah, I remember you told me around Christmas, you hated Christmas. What? Boy, the motherfucking motherfucking hoverboards spinning around him, got my daddy, can I get a hoverboard? No, they're gonna burn the goddamn house down. You know, we don't know that. Them people just saying that. So yeah, I was the nigga hating on Christmas for about five, six years. White man motherfucking holiday. Thanksgiving coming around, hate, hating on Thanksgiving, but going to go get a plate. But online hating though. Yeah, 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 nigga. So you know, nigga joined all kind of groups. Uh, bash the single mothers groups. Uh, nigga would mean to women for about a year. Cause you, you, you know, cause you struggling, you can't get no, so yeah, that's the niggas mean to women, bashing women every day. I, I understand, homie, I get it. It's a phase you're going through in life, you'll grow out of it. So, 
you go to you turn yourself in. Yeah. So we had been working on this for two weeks, homie. So when I come back from Cam Newton, they say, hey, Charleston, we got some video, man. Uh, you got two felony warrants uh, for you. And this nigga, I dropped my head. I said, man, what the fuck? Two felony warrants? I said, man, they bullshitting with me. And then I said, nigga, two felony warrants, serious in the motherfucker. Uh, and then they had me listed as armed and dangerous because I got so many guns in, in, in my rhetoric, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I got a very trustworthy lawyer. Uh, and, 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 and he personally kind of got an idea of the type of person I am because we've been dealing with each other for years. Uh, so it's easy for him to go to court and advocate and defend for me. Uh, so uh, we, we, we tried to get everything done right, uh, but I couldn't turn myself in. I had too many dates I had. I had. But I let the court system know. Uh, and they did let me know if your ass get stopped, your ass going to jail. So your ass was on the run while you all got into that uh, the yeah, pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why Dewberry can't, yeah, nigga, yeah. Uh, we can't do nothing. I'm on the run. So I was on the run for two weeks, homie. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but I was in contact with my lawyer the, 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 the entire time. And my lawyer was also in contact with the detective. I uh, was also in contact with the courts. Uh, so we were trying to get the, uh, so I had labor detail uh, for, for the summer. From, from when I went to sleep at the light last last, mm -hmm. last last year. So I had 20 days labor detail from that. And- uh, You was drunk? No. Nah. Hi. Uh, no. Nah. Uh, nigga, I was overwhelmed from success. Uh, my first, my, 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 uh, uh, nah, homie, uh, yeah, I, I was overwhelmed from success, homie. Uh, you know, just sold out BET weekend in Atlanta, homie. Uh, just overwhelmed with success, my nigga. So uh, wait, 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 you're in the car by yourself. Yeah. At the light, fell asleep. Yeah, if I get tired right now, I go to sleep. So wait, you woke up, Who was it a cop at the... What? Nigga, I put the car in park, cut it off, threw the keys over there, I let my seat back, and I just took me a little nap. At the light. If I get sleep, I go to sleep anywhere. So when you woke up, was it... It was cops all around that motherfucker saying, Mr. White! <laughs> Mr. White! <laughs> and I'm wondering what all these goddamn police doing here. I'm just resting. Plus, they were taking too long for the light to change. So what you get charged with with that? Uh, they thought I was drunk. But they, you, you, I mean, well, you couldn't get charged with anything because the car was parked. Yeah, I got charged with DWI. Mm. They don't want to hear no shit about you tired, nigga. You sleep at the motherfucking light. Don't nobody do this but drunks and fools. Right. They don't know I'm a fool. They think I'm drunk. So when you go to jail uh, this week, were you kind of nervous about the what the experience was going to be like because you're not just anybody you're charleston white and you talk a lot of shit uh, uh i've been talking shit all my life nigga. uh <laughs> like uh like my mama told somebody this ain't that boy for a rodeo and they said well all rodeos ain't the same she said this ain't that boy for a rodeo y'all just looking at him because he little uh nigga, y'all see me take that punch that nigga can't take no punch sleep and wake up and jump on his feet uh when I went to jail last year for the DWI, I, I, I end up uh, in, in, in a bunch with the, with the young nigga from Dallas that was being transferred from Lou Sterrett. So they was a rowdy group. Little nigga coming from Lou Sterrett to Dallas, they don't know how to act. Niggas in Fort Worth kind of mind a little bit when them people say, sit down, get out that goddamn window, boy. Them niggas in Dallas still be in the window, so they go prolong the process. I was nervous last year when I went, when they put me in there with all them young niggas. When they say, yeah, we got a we got a bunch of people from Loose Terry. We got 60 from Loose Terry. I said, 60? God damn. Boy, they put me in that motherfucking tank. I put that hood down. <laughs> About 30 minutes, a nigga jump up and said, man, I don't man, I know I ain't tripping, man. You sure look like Charleston White. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> it was another nigga with a rolled up beanie hat. Said, that is OG. Shit, I know that's him, OG. You ain't got to hide. You tank boss. Man, I don't want to be no motherfucking tank boss. I'm finna make bond. You niggas finna go upstairs. So, so, so every time the door open, I was doing the go out like this. <laughs> so them niggas couldn't see me. Every time the door, I said, niggas said, what you want? I said, can I talk to you? Talk to me about what? I ain't want to say nothing. <laughs> so when I got out, I said, man, listen, I'm a celebrity, man. He said, man, we know who you is. I said, man, I ain't supposed to be in population. He said, you ain't in population. You in booking. So this one I wasn't that big last year. Yeah. So this wait, this last year. This last yeah, year. Okay, so okay. this one I wasn't that big. Nigga, when I went to that bitch this time. They put you in. Man, listen, the jail went crazy. Man, them nigga went to Charles and White! Charles and White! Oh, uh, man, it was two. It was it was two. And shout out to them two police officers from Kansas. Uh, it was two police officers from Kansas who had came down to come pick up somebody. Soon as I walked through home, they lit up. Boy, they, they said, 
this can't be Charleston White. I can't believe it's Charleston White. I said, under these circumstances, yeah. They want to take a picture. Yeah, they want to take a picture. So, uh, uh, yeah, man, uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, Sheriff Bill Weber, uh, shout out to Sheriff, uh, and, and Chief, man, uh, uh, they made one call and said, get him off that floor immediately. So within 10 minutes, homie, I, I was booked and, and put in, uh, solitary confinement. Uh, I, I would have much rather been down there getting my ass kicked and fighting than being in solitary confinement. Mm. Cause you don't come out, homie. Uh, yeah, they bring the phone in front of those. So I'm a high, I'm a high profile person. Uh, so even just walking, walking down the cells, homie, niggas just hollering, going crazy. Uh, but they more fan like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So especially out, especially out of real niggas. Uh, and shout out to the nigga D Lo. He down there on the cap murder. Uh, he from Omaha, Nebraska, where Crawford from. Uh, he been in there five years. He said, man, I've been hearing about you. Man, I've been up here hearing about you, homie. You that real. So the real niggas take to me, homie. Mm. It's the weenie niggas, homie. And, and the niggas who done broke the codes or living under the code, mm. still trying to play like it's what that is. At, at this point, we all know it ain't what that is. Mm. So to uphold the codes, my nigga, uh, you might as well just turn right and go straight and go sit down with the has been. Stop standing out here with these young niggas acting like these codes is still something to, to uphold, nigga, and die for. Were you, uh, while you were in jail, you know, were you talking to yourself like, you know what, I, I need to get my shit together or... Fuck no. Get my shit together for what? Nigga, nigga hit me across the head. Uh, I'm ready to respond. Nigga, I ain't wrong for responding to a nigga trying to hurt me. No matter how, what the law say, my nigga, my nature's first rule is self-preservation. And I got family in this building. So do I abandon my family? And I still think this guy's in the bill. Not saying you was wrong. I'm just saying. Man, I ain't. I'm fucked. No, I'm just saying this I'm, month. I, this, this month, it's been a real crazy month. You goddamn, you lying to so me. So you didn't sit back and be like, you know what? I need to regroup. I was in that bitch doing it. Oh, nigga, that bitch going viral, bro. You get that? You feel about thirty-four thousand dollars interview, my son. You get that? That's all I'm thinking about. Because nigga, I know how to capitalize. I said, ooh, nigga, it's gonna be. Because half the city downstairs was talking about, let him go, let him go. So they ready, they ready to protest for me and everything. So nigga, you think I ain't enjoying that? Nigga, I'm, I'm, let me stop lying. I'm that bitch, I'm talking to him. I said, man, sit down somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Say, ma'am, can, can you open this slide up? I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, that motherfucker solitary confinement. But nigga, at some point, nigga, you find comfort. God grant me the serenity to accept the thing that I cannot change, the curve to change the thing that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Once you say that two or three times, nigga, you lean back like Joe Clark on lean on me. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know why, nigga? Because I know I got an army out there, nigga, working. Nigga, I got an army of motherfuckers out there working to make sure I get out this motherfucker, to make sure ain't nothing go happen to me. It's a lot of people ain't got that, homie. I got an army. I got a, a nation out there working, homie. They calling the jail, nigga. They doing everything. So then, nigga, I can sit back and relax. And plus, I got a good relationship with the sheriff. So my cousin, who cat they said I mace, had already called the sheriff and said, hey, Charleston gonna be turning himself in. So the sheriff, so now, nah, homie, everything, this had been worked out for two weeks. So uh, the reason it said no bond, because naturally in Tarrant County, homie, if you get a charge and, and, and the detective don't write the bond amount on, on, on the warrant, then you have to, you no bond until you see a magistrate. So, uh, so, so, so what they did, homie, uh, uh, they, they reinstated my labor detail. So that, that lifted the, the capious warrant. Mm. Uh, I was instructed to go, to, to, to go, uh, do labor detail. Unbeknownst to me, uh, I'm listed as armed and dangerous. So ain't no way in the world I can be around people wanted listed as armed and dangerous and they, they, they can't, yeah, so by law, nigga, they have to arrest me. How to put it, get released? Uh, what you mean? I, I nigga, uh, it, it was like a, uh, it was like nothing, uh, because I, I, I know was, I know, uh, uh, yeah, nigga, the churros is coming. Yeah, I know when I get out of jail, nigga, the churros is coming. Uh, the oohs and the ahs, uh, as well as the, the, the direct deposits. Uh, yeah, I'm motherfucker gonna talk about this. So in, in my mind, homie, uh, uh. If I ain't got a life sentence and I ain't dead, nigga, ain't nothing bad about this because I'm in a position, homie, to monetize everything about my life. Mm -hmm. Capitalize. Mm -hmm. right. Nigga, I'm in a position, anything that happened to me, nigga, it's monetization, whether it's, well, well, no matter what it is. So, so, so what, what, what I've created is, 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 is a legacy uh, as well as some generational wealth for him. <clears throat> no matter what happens to me, homie, all this is monetized. Whether I go to prison, whether I get killed, no matter what. 
So at this point, homie, I don't see how I can lose. I don't want to go to prison. I don't want to die. I'm not trying to go to prison, uh, and I ain't trying to die. I just been talking. So let's y'all, get this. I, 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 I just been talking. I ain't shot no gun. I ain't threw no punch. I just been talking, and y'all want to hurt me for talking. Mm. But we kill each other every day, and we say free the killer. We go cry at the funeral, but we don't go across town and make sure we hurt the people that hurt these people. But y'all gonna hurt me just for talking, for talking. But nigga, y'all smoked Tuka, nigga, for 10 years. His mama begged y'all. His sister had to go to the mental hospital. His brother crashed out. Y'all was just talking. So nigga, I got to be doing something right if so many people is rooting for my downfall just for talking. Mm -hmm. And I ain't done nothing to nobody. Half the people don't even know me. So let's get this overstood too, because it was a rumor about you, you having sex with a dog. <laughs> crazy. I, I just gotta ask you. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, I, me and you, we address I'm not everything. Even, I'm, I'm not even gonna address no. You ain't heard no rumor like that. Well, what? No, you I, ain't heard. You ain't heard no motherfucking rumor like it that. Was no, the, the, you, the you ain't. You, you, that ain't no motherfucking rumor. Say who said it. Don't don't spread no. Don't say that. Well, there wasn't no motherfucking rumor. That was a stuttering sissy on no jumper that said that. That's been hating on me since I got on the internet because I done bypassed everybody because I refuse to go on no jumper. So don't say that, my nigga. Yeah. Don't say it was no rumor because you lying. It was a headline. It wasn't no headline. It was Flacco mm. on no jumper. It wasn't no headline. Oh, Flacco said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, stutter butter. Yeah, it was Flacco. Okay. Do you still plan to sue No Jumper? You goddamn right. Because that's defamation of character. And nigga, I'm gonna sue you. You say it's a rumor I'm again. Sue me. If you hide this motherfucking rumor again, nigga, I'm going it's, a, it's not a rumor. It, it's a, it's a, it's an accusation that You're was right. made by an individual. You right, but don't sue me though. But nigga, they fucking each other over there. House phone fucking the transsexual. <laughs> Lana fucking Jason Love. A uh, 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 brick baby fucking no jumper. They just, they sick over there. You can't entertain none of that shit over there. Yeah. What, what nigga think of a nigga fucking a dog? And all I hear, we ain't never heard a nigga fucking dog. Your fucking cousin for he fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> and all I hear, we ain't never heard no nigga yeah. putting it. That's the white boy shit. The white boy spoon the dog and they, they cuddle each other at night. The white boy kiss the dog. The black boy don't do that. The white boy let the dog sit on the table while he watch television. The white boy let the dog sit in his lap directly on his dick. We don't do that. We keep the dog outside. We don't even pet the dog. We tie his ass up to the tree. We feed him and he die till he die. Bark, nigga. You don't get no affection. White folks fuck them dogs. We don't. So don't put that shit on no real motherfucking nigga. Well, I kill a dog before I fuck it. What you talking about? That'd be my way more satisfying killing one of them motherfuckers than putting my dick in one. Fuck is you talking about? I done watched one. I ain't even gonna say that. Yeah, yeah, I feel say one of the shit. Got me near a set of dog here. Yeah. I mean, you you went on the internet today and you you spoke on it. I said I'm gonna sue that motherfucker Stutter and Flacco. And I address the mother. See, homie, that's the problem. You gotta address the motherfucker that's wrong. Yeah. Don't give him no pass and act like he. That's the motherfucker who said it. Yeah. They done said I'm a rapist. They done said I'm this. Homie, they done said every goddamn thing. And I keep bypassing them. They forget they wanted me on their platform. They forget. Yeah, they beg. They forget. They mad about this. Yeah. And I said, the only way I go if he let me fuck Lana. Did you see? What the, did you see the dude who won? Yeah, man, this he didn't win. He didn't win. They been fucking. House phone was fucking her. That's how. The, that's why No Jumper Twenty Two told the world that House Phone, his best friend, fucked that man woman. Cause House Phone was fucking Lana. Homer day over there, Caitlyn Jenner and, and Kardashian one mm -hmm. another. All them, all them penitentiary niggas, homie. And one thing we know about them freaking penitentiary niggas, they love a white boy's back. Nigga told me out there, penitentiary said, nigga, and every little white boy is a little white girl just waiting to be brought out. That's what they doing to Adam over there, bringing out that little white girl in. You see, Crip Mac went to jail, and Adam, he was kind of hesitant on going up there to speak on his behalf so he can get out. He's getting a lot of backlash for that. Nigga, uh, when you go to jail, uh, the Walmart CEO don't come down there and talk for you. You his nigga. 
You is motherfucking slave. Why, 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 nigga, nigga, and, and I'm underpaying you niggas. Why would I go speak down there on your behalf and you got hoover on your head and I know you got the gun. I done seen you with the gun. I would speak for you though. Oh, uh, you ain't seen me do nothing wrong. I don't, you don't see me live a criminal lifestyle. You don't see me do that. But, they live in criminal lifestyle. But Crip Mac over there, he's like the star. Uh, a lot of people looking like, damn, you got a black guy on your on your uh, platform that's a star. That Crip, Mac ain't, Crip, Mac, Crip Mac ain't no star. But he gets the most views over there, though. He's like the head guy besides Adam. He's, he's underpaid. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he underpaid. But you don't look at it like, damn, Adam, you can't go speak for somebody who comes to your shit every day. He don't care and, about and them. makes he, you money. He don't care about them niggas. You care about me, Sean. I done met your father. Big I done met deal. your mother. Big deal. Me and you, me, me and you done came back into the community and put our hearts together and, and gave back to, to the youth. On, he now. don't care about them niggas. Come if on, they now. die, he put them niggas on there to fight each other and sit back. Come on now. These are his nigga puppets. Come on now. These are his nigga puppets. So it's no different than a slave master making the two niggas fight like on, on Django. Mm. Now, goddamn it, Jimmy, now you, I'm, I'm gonna let you get. That's what he doing. He Django on these niggas. And they, he got, and each one of them is, 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 is fighting to be up next to him. They can bring him in the room and say, listen, you know them niggas playing on you, don't you? Adam, they playing on you, my nigga. Each one of them niggas is fighting to be Steven. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> each one of them niggas is fighting to be Steven. And all of them is still living in impoverished conditions at or below the poverty line. Google their network. They don't have t-shirts to sell. They ain't got no merchandise. They don't have nothing going on outside of No Jumper 22. As a matter of fact, no nigga have went on No Jumper 22 or Vlad TV and advanced nowhere. Mm. Not one. Charleston White done been on Say Cheese TV and then advanced mm. everywhere. Come on now. Mm. De facto. I mean, well, yeah, well, Adam 22 just spoke the rainwater on, on their show. And he was like, I, he was basically saying he fucked with you. You decided not to go. Uh, he can't fuck with me if he done called me a rapist. And he's been accused of messing with young girls, and I haven't. I've never been accused of doing anything wrong to a woman. Not one allegation. Did you watch the Rainwater episode? No, nah, I don't watch nothing Rainwater because this city don't support Rainwater. Rainwater lost Mo3. Rainwater lost Dun Dun. Rainwater lost Baby C. Rainwater signed Lil' GM. Rainwater was in a position, homie, to put this city back on the map with the music industry. But nigga, he played whole game. He played tit for tat whole game. He was in a position. He ain't got empire behind him no more. He can't put out a Mo3 album. So why would I listen to the nigga when I got the biggest voice in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex now? I think you could blow up an artist. I can. If somebody Shout out to Belly Gang Cushington who won on the music review. Yeah. You see what he doing? He got a crazy deal. Come on, homie. Yeah. Nigga, I bumped him for the two one, weeks straight. When we spoke about. Atlanta. I but he won on our Wait, show, homie. Nice is that the one we talked about yep. about? Is he white or not? Yeah. Nah, he black. He a nigga. But, that, but yeah, we was, he, he a real nigga. He, 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 real, he really black. He really black. He really and black. Me and he was speaking. I was like, are you sure? Yeah. Do you know black, the lightest color in the world? Uh, the well, uh, color. homie, see, homie, dim, 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 dim. Uh, all you gotta do is look how nappy it hurry up. Yeah, look how nappy that nigga hurry up. White boy hurry can't get like that. No. Oh. Uh. So 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 nah, homie. Uh. I, I I could blow up any any artist, really any any could. dancer, any, any, any yeah, homie. Uh, facts. Homie, I'm the most watched nigga on the internet. Facts. I think that's have you looked that up like on the YouTube? I know so. Uh, uh so, so so we got people that look at the analytical data. There's no artist from Sauce Walker to Jello Breeze. There's no artist out nigga analytical data for me for views nowhere. I'm killing them on TikTok. 1.7 billion. Mm. That's just that's just hashtag Charleston White. Hashtag misspelled Charleston White is 22 million. Right. <laughs> Hashtag Charleston White challenge. You know what I'm saying? So that's just TikTok, homie. That's just me. If you go look at the TikTok young boss nigga, he got 100 million off my video. If you come look at Say Cheese TV, between me and you and all our video, homie, we probably got 5 billion. Mm -hmm. Facts. 5 billion. Facts. So that's not all the other shit that people are taking off my Instagram. Not let alone people put my names in titles. Right. Homie, I done became the internet algorithm. You cannot erase me now. Did you see the 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 Jeffrey uh, Epstein situation? No, it's I ain't. It's 150 names coming out. No, I ain't into that. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, no. So, so you got to be into that, that for that to, for you to want to see those names. Mm. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't listen to gay prison stories. I, don't, I ain't finna listen to Fleece Johnson go in detail about how he fucked his roommate. I, I ain't finna do that for because real. you have to have an interest in that right. to want to sit and listen. I'm not finna go look at no motherfucking 150 name who I know went and fucked kids. That don't strike my nerves. Well, 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 the 150 names that are coming out next year, three names are sealed. I ain't into that. Uh, homie, we, nigga, I'm still mad about Tamir Rice. Mm. Fuck them kids that were getting fucked over there on that island. They ain't kidnapping no kids out the hood going to go fuck them over there. Mm. Them unknown babies. So fuck them. I care about poor nigga babies. They ain't kidnapping our kids, homie. And taking them to the island, putting no dick on them. Nah, nah, nah. They shooting owls. Playing with guns. So I don't care about no kid that been on Jeffrey Epstein Island. Now motherfucker been over there. Fuck them. They been doing that shit forever. They doing it in the hood, nigga. With our baby girl, these niggas. Horny dick ass niggas. So I don't want her shit about Jeffrey Epstein and what them white folk did with them millions and billionaires, nigga. Stay out there. That's what they got to do to get pleasure. They can't fuck their wife and calm, nigga. They too rich and powerful and sick. Do you know what you got to do to get a billion dollars? And do you know what you got to do to keep it? I couldn't imagine. And I don't want to. You always say, and it sticks with people. You always say five million. Like, that's the most. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why five though? Why not like fifteen? It's some taxable shit. <laughs> Is it why not fifteen? Why not? Why not twenty? Like yeah. what's uh, up with you in the five but, million? Oh, uh, uh, because um, don't you know the more money you make, the more pleasure it requires to satisfy you. Why you think? No, I agree, but it's like. But I don't want homie. I'm all right. I'm all right with maybe a threesome. I don't want to be in a hot tub with seven bitches like Puffy. And that motherfucker balling. <laughs> and everybody pushing dick hot. And they fucking. I don't want that, my nigga. That's what come with that 10 and 15 million. I don't want that. Nigga, I want to stay half ass normal. Nigga, 15 million, there's no way you can remain normal. There's no way you can walk amongst these people, nigga. It's like saying NBA players are normal, though. You heard what they be doing, don't you? Basically, like, did you see them? Did you see them two niggas humping each other, dry humping? They had to that trade was them. Crazy. Too much money. That was crazy. Too much money. The uh, Jalen Green Jaylen shit. Green. That was, that's out of pocket. So you feel like they had no five money. Million, you belong broke. to somebody. You belong uh, to some type of cult organization. No, 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 homie. Uh, what you feel it is? Uh, it, it, it's not that you belong to nothing but your own desires. Okay. Nigga, you a slave to your own desires. You put you in hell, nigga. Not God. Well, how do a man go to hell? Who, he who pleasures himself. That's how you live in hell, nigga. So a multi-millionaire, nigga, he has the power to pleasure him. Homie, no, 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 homie, just that, no. That's why in, in certain religious books, it says for the rich motherfucker to go to heaven or to get into the, it's like trying to squeeze a camel through the eye of a needle. Needle in the haystack. Oh, uh, homie, you can't have normal sex with that much money. You see the T.D. Jake shit going around uh -uh. about Diddy? Uh -uh. Cassie, um, she allegedly had a phone uh, with T.D. Jake's going to Diddy parties. And I'm not surprised by no shit like that. Because we got to wake up and realize that everybody's coming out and, ex and expressing themselves about everything that goes on at these parties. It's nothing new. This is what I'm saying, y'all. I've been on the internet saying, intentionally saying all the wrong things, right? But there's no evidence of me doing any of these things. But people say, yeah, but here you are, got these other people, your Diddy's, your, your T.D. Jakes. They've been saying all the right things. They've been having the right, perfect image. I, I, I didn't want to be perfect. I want to be an asshole sometimes. Sometimes I want to be mean, but most people won't admit that. Or uh, niggas, some days you're going to be mean to your kids intentionally. Intentionally. Sit down somewhere because you're having a bad day. Some days you're going to be mean to your woman intentionally, nigga, because you're thinking about something. She's going to be mean to you because she had a dream about something intentionally. <laughs> but we won't admit that. Yeah, bro, you speak. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? No, intentionally. I'm intending to do this, but I can't say I'm intending to do this. But you can tell. Right. 
Man, why you fucking with me is what I would say. So my son used to say, Dad, you must be mad about something. That was the cue to say, oh, nigga, you tripping. Then he said, man, you must be mad about something. And that's what it hit me. Oh, nigga, you tripping. Hmm. So, uh, homie, I came to say all the wrong things because in, in real life I was striving to do right. Uh, you drop your wallet, homie. Uh, hey, excuse me, sir, you drop your wallet. And I could be broke seeing that hundred dollar laying out that motherfucker. I was that kind of person, homie. So, uh, so when I look at these people, they they picture perfect. Uh, most most serial killers appear picture perfect. Uh, they get ideal jobs, security officer jobs. They get the ideal jobs that you wouldn't even suspect that they get there. So when you study the profile of serial killers, homie, they they they, they good people. So, yeah, so they don't, uh, nigga, uh, rapists don't appear like they rapists. Uh, child molesters don't uh, appear child molesters. Homie, they appear to be good people. So to find out uh, this about Jake's, let me just say this. Allegedly. Uh, uh, good people do bad things. Because <laughs> niggas uh, is giving out cease and desist. Niggas left and right right now. Uh, well, <laughs> let, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, let, let me just say this. Uh, good people do bad things just like bad people do good things. His son was caught in the park getting a dick sucked by a punk. Who? Jake's. He made the news. He made the news. Niggas more fucking going on in that pot of house. Boy, listen. If you want to, man, if you want to fuck, man, go to Ricky Rush and Potter's house church. Man, them holding up fucking like a motherfucker. Man, man, that's an orgy fest. Man, man, go get man dressed up pretty every Sunday, learn you some scriptures. And, and, and go up there and uh, <laughs> recite one of them hell of a testimony that you don't remember. Man, you get your two, three holes up out that motherfucker. Wait, do you go to church or not? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, wait. You used to go to church, though? No. I stopped going to church, nigga, when I had my boy. But I seen you getting, you cussed somebody out in church. That, that, that wasn't at no church. That was at, that was at a political function. That oh, was at, okay, that, that okay, was at the yeah. marriage debate. Yeah. yeah. They just, have, they just happen to have it at a church. Yeah, exactly. And the reason I cussed in a church is because the state and church is supposed to be separate. I'm going to say it again. State and church is supposed to be separate. They're not supposed to be in the bed. So if our political people are having debates in the church, then that means the church and state have gotten in the bed, right? That's why they created the 501c3 for the churches. That's why you can't trust the church no more. They done got in bed with the state by way of faith-based initiative. But that's a whole nother topic. Church yeah, you, is a scam. You got damn right it's a scam. We, and we preachers are pimps. Today. And yeah. preachers are pimps. No good, no, right no, no, no good riding dirty oh. motherfuckers. He dressed better than everybody in the congregation. His car prettier than everybody. His wife sitting up front like she the diva and the queen. They got a pastor appreciation month. Nigga, ain't none of that shit in the Bible. Man. Ain't nothing. What, what I need a man standing before God for me? Can you get out the way so I can talk to God myself, nigga? Cause you probably jacking off this morning telling me what God done told you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and the church secretary and her fucking. And nigga, I don't want to hear nothing you saying. Uh, 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 I don't think God need man anymore. Uh, uh, God need humans to, to do what he need to do on earth. Uh, but he don't need man to speak for him. Mm -hmm. God he told me to tell you, man, God ain't told you a motherfucking thing. How he sound? How he sound if he told you to tell? Why he told? Why he didn't tell me then? Do you pray? Like a motherfucker. And I don't ask God for nothing but strength. I don't God fix my mom. I don't ask God, no. Nah, mama sick. I don't do none of that. I'm, God, I need strength. strength because he already know. Do you pray every day or just when you uh, feel like you uh, got to? Nigga, I pray every day, all day, throughout the day. Come on, God. Sometimes I say, God damn, God, shit. God, yeah. come on, God. You cut like you... Man, you goddamn right. Goddamn, God. I su you, you supposed to be able to have an intimate relationship with him. I know some niggas, man, if, if you real, motherfucker, show me you're real. And goddamn it, they find out he real. But they cuss his ass out. I know niggas shoot the gun up in him. Bitch, I'll kill you. And nigga, next thing you know, they be preachers 10 years from then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Square business, homie. Did you, uh, did you let your son uh, cuss growing up? Like, was it when uh, you used to tell him not to cuss? Uh, nah, I mean, I cuss around him. Uh, but if I'm cussing around him, how am I going to tell him not to cuss? One time we were playing catch one time. He threw the ball over and said, oh, shit. I said, what would you say? <laughs> 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 and I, I, I tried not to laugh, but it was funny in the mother. <laughs> uh, in, in the beginning, I, I, I started trying to raise him uh, like how my uncles and them were doing me. You know, I used to have my son around hoes, homie. 
Oh, my nigga, my nigga was waking up going to school with three, four holes, half naked, been selling pussy all night in, in, in the closet, in the living room, while he trying to sleep in the bedroom. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I wake up, uh, yeah, he getting picked up from school with holes in the car. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nah, my little nigga would lie. He, he, yeah. So you know, I, I, I was trying that like the first zero to five year, but then you start growing up. That's when nigga in his twenties. So by the time you're in your thirties, he five. You thinking different and, and you doing different. Uh, and, and and nigga, I had a complete change. Uh, so so I ain't the cool daddy no more. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't the cool daddy no more. Now I'm trying to trying trying to be a disciplinary. Cause now you're trying to undo, uh, undo them seeds that you were sowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't really be in the, the, the clubs anymore like you used to be, huh? Who don't? You don't. You lying, motherfucker? Cause you used to be videos of you sleeping in there. Still do? Yeah. I'm still, yeah. Hell yeah, shit yeah. I ain't, I ain't this, I'm, like, I'm Is listen. that like a place of like uh, comfort or like- that's, that's where I go, that's where I go meet the Lord at. That's where I go pay my tithe. My mama didn't wake up and go get ill to the preacher. I bypass that nigga because I know he going to take it to the pussy anyway. I go straight to where they take it to. I take the money where the preachers take it to. The hoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to find me a little old, uh, uh, yeah, I try to find me a little wholesome stripper uh, and uh, uh, just a, a little wholesome young lady and, and pay tithes to him, homie. Huh? So into him. Do you have a, like a weekly budget? Uh, how much you going to throw or spend? Uh. Or well, it just depends on how you feel. Yeah, it depends. Well, it depends. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. It's like this, homie. Uh, I got a minimum. So if I, if I go to the strip club, I'm, I'm, I'm going to minimally spend $200. Mm. Uh, and that's that's campaign funds. Yeah, yeah, that, I, 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 that, that's campaign funds. Nigga, nigga looking, yeah, nigga, yeah, fishing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, nigga fishing, trying to, you know, conversation. So I don't do lap dance. The bitch can't come say, I want to let, now say, let's talk. And, and most of them are intimidated by that. Because mm. once you say you don't want to lap dance, they don't know what to do outside they pussy. Most of these little hoes don't know what to do if you ain't fucking on them, homie. Right. You, you, yeah, you give them, yeah, homie, yeah, they don't know what to do. Well, look, I ain't trying to get too deep, right? Yeah. But it's Because it, it's on the internet. But you have like this lifestyle where you're, at, where you're out at night. But then on the internet, it's clips where... Somebody asked you, do you cheat on your wife? Yeah. So like, how do you, didn't you manage, how do you did, manage? Didn't you hear me say, baby, somebody asked me, do I cheat on my wife? You don't think when I walked away and I said, yeah, nigga, I'm cheating on my motherfucking wife. You don't think she wasn't over there watching too? Mm -hmm. Her mama called and said, girl, what you gonna do with that boy? You mm -hmm. think she don't know? You think Coretta Scott King didn't know Dr. King was fucking? So how do you manage? Like, What you mean, how you manage? You manage it by keep making money. Once your ass stop making money, your ass in trouble, boy. They go drag your motherfucking ass. You gonna be a no good riding motherfucker. Nigga, Kobe Bryant got caught to spend six million dollars on the ring. You never heard a peep out that woman no more. He died and she got all the money. If you smart, you stay around until the nigga died and get the money. Omi, you see the Omi shit? Omi cheated on his girl. She stupid. 18 million. Um, I like it. She stupid. Three, three, three nightclubs come with it. She stupid. Eight properties and 18 million dollars cash. He sent me the contract. She's That's stupid. I, I ain't gonna say she's stupid. She might already be rich. Well, she own they partners in some some businesses or whatever. I can't put too much out there, but twenty five million dollars in assets, cars, three nightclubs. Man, I know a hoe you can burn three, four times. She she'll, she'll take all that. <laughs> see, uh, see that. See, listen. That that's why that's why God can't trust a woman to lead nothing. You see how illogical that is? Don't you know she could, man? That, that's why the woman cannot be trusted to lead. Because her, her, her emotions gets in the way of rationale. She'll burn this motherfucker down out of spite and regret it once it's burned down. Hmm. Uh, that's why she got to nurture. She can't come out front and, and dictate and, and, and analyze and give instructions. She got to nurture. Uh, because when her emotions get involved, homie, uh, her logic goes out the window. And she's loyal to her emotions. She's not loyal to what's right. She's not loyal to her man. She's not loyal to her children. She's loyal to her emotions. Because when mama don't feel like it and mama tired, mama tell you go sit your ass down somewhere, boy, I'm not having this today. She's loyal to her emotions. And she will sit motherhood aside till she gather her emotions. And, and that shouldn't be the case. 
So if Omi girl signed that contract, they're going to say, oh, she only fucking with him for the money. What? But they, if she don't sign it, it's because she really uh, loves him, right? Well, well who, who cares what they say? He putting the money out there for her to fuck with him for the money. He putting the money out there. Baby, come back. You can have this. Baby, goddamn, I'm going to give you. Come on, homie. He putting the money out there for her to come back for the money. So who cares what they say? Baby, go get the money. Uh, psychological game is this here, though. If you my bitch, your money, my money. Mm. So if you do sign for the money, nigga, that's our money. So when I do come back, this still our money. It's still our so money. So it's, it's a game yeah. that you got to be able to understand what's going on. You see what I'm saying? Mm. If she signed for that money and I come home and you with me, guess what? That's my money too. We don't, we don't. Baby, I love you so money. much where I'm trying to ensure you, your family, and everything tied to y'all is set forever. Baby, good man, she. Just because I gave my dick away don't mean I don't love you. She been knowing that too. I can go, I can go fuck the ground every day and I love that ground. I can go stick my dick in the gas tank and love the shit out of you. Where I put my dick mm. ain't got nothing to do with where my heart is. Mm. That's you, baby. Do you love her? Mm. Come on, baby. Pussy just good. Bitch suck dick backwards. Upside down. So you yeah. can't say that. <laughs> yeah, I got a yeah, I love her a little bit, but you just but 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 you, so so uh but uh uh homie you but know see, you know a lot of women say if if you really love if you really love me, why would you cheat? Uh you don't know love. Love ain't got nothing to do with cheating. A man cheating, a man cheating ain't got nothing to do with the woman. Loving you or not loving you. It ain't got nothing to do with the woman. When he and her jacking the dick out watching porn, he's cheating. He's coming to another woman. He's cheating. He's getting turned on by this. So you don't think by him watching this when y'all fucking, he, she don't flash through his head? So, so nah, homie, uh, we don't know real love for, for us to really base uh our decisions of leaving people of what we think love is. Most of us ain't seen no nigga love our mama. Most of us ain't seen, you see what I'm saying? Most of us hadn't seen no real healthy love, homie. We come from dysfunction love. And, 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 and a woman's love is more geared toward me, 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 me. Me, me, me. You didn't tell me I was pretty today. You're not giving me, you haven't given me no attention. You've been working all the time and you ain't spending no time with me. So this other man was spending, so it's, it's me, 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 me. But she not realizing the light's on. The car got gas in it. You protect it. Uh, the kids sleep good at night. Uh, uh, you don't have to lock the doors, do all this because you, you, it's a man in the house. Uh, it's comfort. It's, it's security. Uh, uh, there's direction. Uh, the, the, the woman problem is uh, no one can correct her. And, 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 and a man has to be able to correct because his job is to establish law and order in the household. So most real men aren't liked. I'm going to say it again. Most real men with real traits and characteristics aren't like. He going to say, baby, take that off. You're not going to go outside with your teeth showing like that. Man, you got your ass out like that. Man, put some panties on. Your pussy pretty showing. That's a, a real man. Establish law and order. Say, y'all sit down somewhere. Nigga, a real man ain't liked. He's missed and appreciated after he's gone. But while he's here, he ain't like, nigga. He's tolerated. Mm. That's why they don't tell your daddy. They keep shit from daddy. That's why daddy get a tie. That's why daddy get kicked in the ass. Mama get everything. It's all about if mama happy. It ain't about if daddy happy. And daddy dying of stress and mama living long being happy. Because guess what? Everybody making mama happy. They don't give a damn about daddy being happy. It's grandma house regardless. Who paying the bills at that motherfucker? It's grandma. House. Unless granddaddy <laughs> kicking grandma my ass. <laughs> Unless granddaddy grew, unless grandmama get up, unless grandmama and granddaddy was together a long time and granddaddy used to kick grandmama ass. Now he sit back quiet and he let her rule because he can't bite no more. He ain't got them same strong teeth them lions have in the back. So the lioness come rule. Every now and then he roar and she cower down because she She's done been taught. Nigga, we getting with women three, four years. Nigga, these ain't our women. These these last two nigga bitches. Mm. We getting with her, and she dealing with us based off what they did to her. Mm. She still got the pain right. from them niggas. 
She still got these barriers and obstacles up from us from what them niggas did. We don't even get a chance to do. Nigga, we liars off the back. We liars off the back. So, nigga, we, we, we diminished and devalued off the back of what the last nigga did. It's hard to keep a relationship now. Shit, nigga. If you was on me, what would you do? Uh, Take that 13 million and pocket it my motherfucking self and come back out here and fuck the world. So is that considered simping, what he's doing? No. He's not uh, simping? Nigga, if you love somebody, how that simping? Yeah, nah, no, that ain't simping. If, if, if I love something, how that simping? He's just getting a lot of backlash. Uh, Well, uh, uh, mo most of these niggas don't love nothing. Mm. Uh, nigga don't know what it's like to have soul time. Uh, mm. uh, nigga, these niggas don't love nothing, homie. How, how you gonna get... See, how, how you simping if you like a girl, but you with your homeboys all day? Nigga, that's the, them the niggas trying to shame you with the homeboy shit. How that simping, my nigga? I like girls. Y'all like boys. Gang, gang. <laughs> that's the difference. Nigga, so yeah, let me simp, my nigga. Oh, uh, because y'all praise pimps. And pimps is the lowest form of a man. A pimp is the lowest form of any man can be. So yeah, I'm a simp, nigga. At least I'm nice to women. Pay their bills, nigga. Hmm. So yeah, I'd much rather be a simp, homie, than a pimp. Damn, uh, Honeycomb Brazy locked back up. For what? What was it, guns? Guns yeah, and possession. Gone. Possession? Control substance. Yep. Going crazy, too. Ooh, that's your ass, Mr. Pope, man. Ooh, no wonder finesse fucking with him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I start telling. Yeah, I tell on finessing him about something, about that boy. <laughs> he knows something they done done and they done got away with that he can tell to get finesse back in there with him. And they can fight against each other. Uh, he got tricked, homie. Uh, I said it from the beginning, homie. A lot of niggas come home just to take pictures and make memories and go down there and talk about it. Mm. She crazy. A lot of niggas come home just to take pictures and make some memories, nigga, and go down there and nigga talk about it. Uh, this memory showed the motherfucker. Cause how you trying to go back to jail after just doing all that time, and you come home to Birdman and all the shit that you doing? Everything you putting you, out, doing numbers. How you just put yourself in a position to go right back to jail? The, like well, 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 no, no, no. Well, well, uh, it, it's it's it, homie. You gotta change how you think. So when you saw how he came out, nigga, he ain't changed how he think. So how you go change the behavior? Right. Nigga, the thinking is what determines your behavior. Your, your behavior is what establishes your habits. Nigga, a habit of carrying a gun. A habit of, you know, so nigga, he back in the trenches picking up his uh, toothless homeboy with them <clears> black gun. Remember the, the nigga? So he back in the trenches. Nigga, he done went back to the same people, the same place, mm. and the same things. How you gonna do something different? How you expect to do something different? You have to right. change people, places, things. Mm. Right. I never thought about it like so, that. Right? So, so, so that's that's part of the reason why 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 I'm I'm in this situation, homie. Uh, because my brother, not not that I'm blaming him for this, but nigga, this had to happen to get my brother from down there. Cause nigga, he's back with the same people, places, thing, and he don't need to be down there, nigga. So I couldn't tell him that because it's like I'm trying to kill his dream. But if that didn't happen, he'll still be down there, and them niggas will either have action at him or me. Oh, my mama, she going to go pick him up. So I'm saying, my nigga, you graduated from Paul Mitchell Barber College. You done learn how to cut white people hair. You learn how to do dye. You learn how to cut. Nigga, why you go to the hood with these great skills? No, nigga, go advance. So had this not happened, homie, he'd be in the lines then. Probably on the way because of that environment in that area. So it's no different than Honeycomb Brazy, homie. Nigga, come home. Nigga, you still thinking the same way? You come home on go mode. I'm on you niggas' ass like but somebody said but we used to say. But cheap. Yeah, so 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 nigga, you come home, you ain't changed the way you're thinking. You still got the same similar behavior. Uh you you got the same habits. Nigga, you back in the gutter. So guess what, nigga? Uh you displaying the same character. So we can pretty much decide where your destiny's gonna be. Right. So uh nigga, when I made nigga, when I made Bond, homie, uh, I ain't been back to my house. Uh, where, where, where the guns at? 
Because part of my bond stipulation is I can't have no access to guns, mm. right? So guess what? Gather mm. all these motherfucking guns up, put them in this motherfucking safe, lock them, yeah, lock them, yeah. And then, uh, but but now nah, my nigga, uh, you gotta change people, places, things. Uh, especially nigga, when you've been given the opportunity and the chance that he's been given to get out on that 15 year old and then come home, nigga, and go to boom and hide with boom. Getting straight to it. Why the fuck I want to go back to jail? Mm. Mm. Tyreek Hill, uh, NFL player. You know who he is? Cheetah. Mm -hmm. He's like the fastest NFL player right now. Yeah, Played for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, he has uh, seven women that he just uh, got pregnant. Well, Damn. That's, that's my nigga. That's yeah, that's my nigga. nigga. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, three yeah. are pregnant right now. Yeah, that's seven, my. Seven that's total. my nigga. Damn. Yeah, that's that's Damn. my kind of nigga. That's, yeah, that's the you like what you mean like that's like a. If I ran that fast, I would do it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, nigga, you got them kind of powers, nigga. Yeah, uh, most nigga can't impregnate seven bras at one time. That's a nigga with some superhuman strength. Sound like his wife know about the shit too. Like she, yeah, like he, yeah, cool. and, like he, and cool. he's married. Man, the nigga run. He's the fastest running human on earth. Man, one piece of pussy can't satisfy that nigga. He the fastest running nigga on earth, huh? In the NFL, yeah. <laughs> well, whatever. He got superhuman strength. Man, and they got to have ten holes. Uh, people are upset that none of the women are dark skinned though. They all. Mix, light skin. He Who dark. upset? Cause he, he already, don't. He already dark. Shit. He know what he like. He already the dark ones. Shit. Nigga, okay. they got to, they got to, they got to settle for anything. Nigga, he picking what he like. Nigga, when you when you got money, you can pick. Everybody else selling. <laughs> yeah, everybody else selling. Motherfuckers settle for their baby mama. Bitch, just they just didn't wear rubber that night, and he didn't mean to get this fat motherfucker pregnant. I swear by God, Dirk didn't mean to get that fat white girl pregnant. She, uh, he was broke, then. Man, that nigga. He was broke. Selling. <laughs> selling. Yeah, he was broke. Selling. I told broke. you, man. My, my, man, shit, man. Yeah, when you get some money, I'm picking shoes. Yeah, 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 so <laughs> shit. Yeah, so like, yeah. Oh, uh, let me get this kind of money. They're going to be saying that about me. Ooh. But it seems like most athletes, when they, you know, LeBron's one of the few that, that stuck with a, a, a black chick. Most athletes, they want the mix of the white girl. When you look, when you step back and look, most athletes, that's what they choose. Why is that? Why can't we stick like like they say in the in the in the NBA, within the next 20 years, most NBA players are gonna be light skinned. Because Tyrese Halliburton and shit. Exactly. <laughs> uh uh, uh Jason Tatum. Uh, uh, uh Zach Levine. Uh, you see know what I'm saying? <laughs> is it is do you feel like that it's because of the NBA or do you feel like that it's because I mean you I'm gonna tell you why. They look the most natural. I mean, we, if, 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 if the dark skinned sisters pulled off the long shoulder length hair and brought back the, if, they look the most natural. The mm -hmm. light skinned girl with the weave hair that hang down her back, they look more natural. Mm -hmm. The sister that got it all the way down to her knees and ain't dread, they don't look natural. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, they look they look more naturally appeared than the sister that's trying to look appeared, mm -hmm. especially at that level. Oh, uh, nigga, I want a natural sister. And maybe black women didn't like them niggas when they wasn't nobody. You they they like them niggas. Them niggas got that pussy, homie. But before they uh, were somebody? Oh, uh, yeah, homie. Uh, see. You don't think it's well, a thing to where as though. Black women be aggressive, shit. You got to be that one growing we up. We growing up now <laughs> at a time where when I was growing up, you got blacks right here. You didn't, you didn't have Mexican chinos and people walking down here like this. We're dealing in an era now where you got options. It's multicultural, homie. Yeah. So we gotta wake up and realize that you got black guys that wanna explore. They wanna explore, homie. It's not that they I'm, been in the hood I'm fucking against, all their life. And yeah, it's not that I'm going against my people, but goddamn, I wanna know what this white pussy like. <laughs> I wanna know what this Asian pussy. And let like. me just say this: Come on, homie. they they be worshiping that niggas torpedo. They worship they they worship that law. Uh. <laughs> uh, the sister is used to being worshipped, right? So in, in the bedroom, she's she's the golden cow. She she's the golden cow. Uh, in other bedrooms, the black man is the golden cow. You don't think it's a characteristic thing to where when when men get money, they want to stay away. They want a white chick because white women may let them do whatever. 
Hell no. Nah, you don't think so? Sean, you know we've been fucking white that's girls since shit. elementary. You know why we fucking white girls. Niggas just let all of us fuck. They, come on, money. They, come on, they gonna do what, yeah, they gonna do what Keisha, Rock Keisha ain't gonna do. Oh, boy, stop. Don't do that. Get on, don't touch my butt. Yeah, this white girls, yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all get out of here. I'm not for the fuck all them. Come on now. We learn this in school. Then when we get to college, we see the difference. Nigga, the black girl huddle up, looking. Her friend want to fuck. Uh-uh, girl, you not going. The white girl get her friend to come and join in. Uh-uh, girl, don't go with them. The black girl pulling. The white girl, we can drag her out drunk. Uh, we out. You know, so we learn this shit in college. Nigga. So. This nigga crazy. Come on, nigga. So which one you think you rather live with? The one who friends come over here? They all get drunk. You can fuck a white friend. You can fuck a Mexican friend. And they all so drunk, they don't know. And this is what we do. The black woman ain't going to let you. She know these hoes go fuck you. She on your ass. Mm. Come on, my nigga. So we you look at black women too stiff. No, no. Uh, the, the, the black woman knows the black man so well and don't trust him. Uh, mm. she, she don't allow him to, to, to make any mistakes in a relationship, uh, let alone uh, be free from her. Mm. So he has to be under her wing Thank because she don't God. trust him and she don't trust no man like him. Uh, so he has, so she has to have a leash on him. She got to have a leash on him. He can never just be, hey, baby, I'll be right back. And when he come back, hey, baby, shoot, yeah. where you been? He can't just never come home and get Super peace. possessive. Real yeah. Possessive. Uh, yeah. 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 So, but uh, I'm going to give you some more game. When you, when you got to realize that when we come up looking at porn, we looked at porn. When we looked at black porn, we saw regular porn. Regular porn, homie. When we looked at porn books, we saw regular porn, right? <laughs> Motherfucker laying up there with their legs at her on the pussy. Until, guess what else? <laughs> when them white folks start coming out with them POVs and all that, and that's when the, that's when the anal sex start coming out on Make it whole gag and all that. Make you can hold with the gag and then they spit. You know, every saying? time black girl didn't suck dick, homie. No, nah, that was nasty, homie. <laughs> what in, was that in, like the in the 90s. It was 90s, 2, yeah. two nigga, black girl didn't suck dick. What? what? I'm not saying, hey, nigga. Where? They gagging. What? Nigga, white girl was sucking dick up under the bleachers. <laughs> and what you want? <laughs> let's keep it real. Shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's, nigga? let's keep it real, man. Nigga, I always had an itch for a white girl. Yo, Victoria, we gotta mute some of this because this shit is great. That's crazy. But that's uh, reality, man. Man, listen, uh, the black woman know her brother. She know her best friend. She know her uncle. She resent her daddy. So from those standpoints, when she see the traits in her man, it's over with. Nigga, you gotta kiss, you, you, nigga, you damn near gotta be picture perfect because if she see those traits, it's over with. Mm -hmm. It's over with. Uh, and, and so, uh, her, her, her insecurities and, 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 and her lack of, of knowledge of, of, of what a man does, what a man really does, and, 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 mm -hmm. and, and, and the purpose of a man. Uh, that's that's the clash, right? So she don't understand us, and she don't understand the purpose of why God even created a man. And we don't understand women, nigga. We don't understand they emotional that 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 uh, that that they are always thinking with emotions. So it, it causes them to uh, pay close attention to mm -hmm. everything you do. Right. So she studies you. Uh, you overlook her. That's why she got to ask you, baby, you like my hair? But she studies you. Mm. Uh, so she, she, uh, she know when you lying because she studies you. Uh, that's, that's, that's part of her, her, her self-defense mechanism for her thought process to study you B because men are, are creatures of habit. Nigga, we're creatures of habit. That's why it's easy to catch us cheating. A pattern of behavior. Uh, our pattern of behavior changes. But you nigga nation though, right? Uh, yeah. So, don't you want to see athletes <laughs> stick with black with their own kind? You nigga nation, though. I got to mix some. Yeah, I mix. I went and mix this dick. You lying to me? I'm thinking about making a fool nigga, baby. But yeah, I went and mix this dick. 
Here's you talking about. And I, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah, yeah, I got a, yeah, yeah, I got a mix, baby. <laughs> yeah, and I done it intentionally. That was early on. I done it intentionally, nigga. Because when I came home, homie, I saw problems that nigga was having with the baby mama. See, when I came home at 21 and 98, homie, the baby mama and baby daddy thing was a new term. That was a new word. Wow. In 1998 and 99, the word baby mama and baby daddy was a new term. What, before that, what was it? Mom and dad. The mother of your child, the father of your child. Mm. The word baby daddy didn't exist in 95. So, so when I came home, uh, most people were young in their 20s, right? 21, 22. Some had already had two kids. And nobody got along with the baby daddy, baby mama. So they started making songs. I hate your baby daddy. So they started making songs, homie. This narrative, this started to become propaganda. So we no longer became mothers and fathers. The term baby daddy and baby mama is two motherfuckers who hate each other. Can't get along and work for the, the, the they work against the best interest for the child. So, uh, nigga, every nigga I seen with a kid, nigga complained and hated a black woman he had a baby by. So in my 20s, psychologically, nigga, uh, I wanted to be able to have a loving relationship with my son. Uh, and nigga, I wasn't fit to have no baby with no black woman because she wouldn't allow you to have a loving, full re- relationship with your son. Because what, what, what I start hearing between my cousins and my female friends is, this my child. You can't take my baby nowhere. So the, the, the black woman claimed 100% rights and authority over the kids. So that robs a black man of his legacy. Mm. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't robbed of my legacy. Most black children don't have their dad's last name. Mm. Most black women wouldn't allow they, they, the, the black man to name their child. Uh, most black women wouldn't allow the grandmother of the, of the baby daddy to have access to the grandbaby because what she felt about the baby daddy. So she kept the kid away. So I didn't want that, homie. So I strategically said, nah, I ain't putting my dick over there in that garden. What's crazy is out of all my homies, I'm I glad think, I don't understand I think that men, shit. out of all my homies, I I'm think me and him. I don't understand that shit. That's what I was about to go to. Out of all my homies. Only me and him grew up with our fathers. Is that would 100%. you? Who, who else we? That's, that's really, probably about it. That's bro. probably it about it. If I'm say homie, you listen. Somebody on camera. I, 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 say I'm, homie. I watch. I, I, hey homie. I've seen grown men yeah. weep and cry. I'm talking about gangster bad niggas. Cause man, they just can't see. They because she got so much control over the baby. I watch niggas give up on life, right. homie. I watch niggas put their head down in shame and walk away from the baby because she got too much control. It breaks a man's spirit and soul. Right. Your son or your daughter looking at you and mama got all to say and you supposed to be daddy, then you can't be the hero. Right. Then you can't be that kid's hero because mama played a villain and you can't come save your child from that villain. How you gonna be that hero? I kicked this goddamn door in to get my baby. Bitch, that yeah, I nah, I'm gonna be a hero. You still wanna go on a date with Cardi B? Yeah, yeah. Is y'all gonna make it happen? <laughs> yeah, for yeah. real? Goddamn right, for real. She ain't answered that DM yet. Oh, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna yeah, 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 nah, 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 nah. We all. Yeah, yeah. They ain't single no more, my niggas. They done got back together. <laughs> He can come too. <laughs> yeah, he can come too. Yeah, he can come too. What? Shit. <laughs> That'd be crazy though. I, I like how you said uh uh it could be uh, in a metaverse. Yeah, in the metaverse world. Yeah, we go to a restaurant, she go to her favorite restaurant, we just go live and talk to each other. Yeah. That shit would go crazy. Oh god. Yeah. It would. <laughs> niggas do it in them DM when niggas say, hey, go, go hey, go live with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga be laying in the bed with his oh, shirt off. Shit. Yeah, yeah, rubbing on his nuts, uh, trying to lead to a sexual conversation. Nigga do it all the time in the DM with them girls. What's your DMs like? Uh, Is it more like niggas uh, trolling and shit? Mm-mm. Women uh, be DMing you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like young, like younger, younger women are like, your age bracket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, shit, nigga. Uh, uh, my analytical data from eighteen to sixty-five plus. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but 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 I'm like this, homie. Uh, you can't pick me. A woman can't pick me, homie. 
You so, said that before. So, so a woman can't get in my DM home and say, I like you all. You know, nah, you, nah, I think that's very suspicious. Uh, because a, a man picks what he want. A, a woman picking you, homie, that's a pimp trying to settle for, that's a nigga settling and just trying to latch on to something. No, nah, man, uh, I, I pick what I want. Yeah, you can't like me. I got to like you to and get you to like me. That's how I get a woman. You like Brittany Renner though, right? Did uh, you pick her or she picked you? I picked her. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> because I, because I said something, and then she yeah, came back and yeah, said, yeah, "I rock yeah, it yeah. work." I remember that. Yeah, 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 that. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nah, homie. Uh, uh, nigga, he who finds. It says he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So a woman can't find a husband. A nigga got to go find. He got to be actively seeking. You just can't stumble. It says he who finds. So you got to be looking. So it's traits and characteristics that you got to be looking for. Would you date a celebrity? No. Hell no, nah, them hoes done been run through. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Them celebrity hoes done been run through, my nigga. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And them bitches just like them niggas. They, but you, it, do you care about a, a body count, though? No. Because Brittany uh, Renner said she had 30, what, 2? Uh, 35? Oh, uh, uh, that, 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 that ain't bad. That ain't bad? No. Nah, Is 100 nah. bad? <laughs> uh, no, nah, 100 ain't bad either. What the Shit. fuck? No, nah, 100 ain't bad. <laughs> Bro, 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 we, bro, we were hunching and screwing back in first grade. So wait, so we wait, got wait, wait, wait. So we wait. started early. Brittany Renner probably around like 35, 36, 100. Well, 32. Wait, on a bad year. That's just uh, 35 she told. She say, homie, listen. Willing to admit, to uh, accept. Say, listen. You, you know you got to times it by three. Uh, <laughs> That's what she accepted. Uh, you 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 would never know how many they got, homie. So body count don't really matter. You don't really care about no, that. No, uh, traits and characteristics. Yeah, uh, because because because, because I because I believe you can turn a hoe into a housewife. I believe reform hoes is the best housewife. Mm. Reform hoes, hoes tired, woe out, reform, or just want to quit. <laughs> Them the best one because because they don't have the same insecurities as Yo, a normal. You are woman. crazy, bro. But it makes sense. Yeah, I'm a reform hoe. Yeah, homie, she make the best housewife. But you just said you wouldn't date a celebrity because they ran through. But a hoe ain't been ran through. A hoe picks the nigga she chooses. Celebrities just fuck where they go, homie, because they gotta fuck this producer, they gotta fuck this producer, they gotta fuck. Hoes, niggas, you don't, hoes just ain't fucking everybody, homie. Hoes are very manipulative. Hoes have they way. Bitches have a problem with men. Hoes don't. Hoes know how to hoe on you to get you to say, yeah. And them the type of women you like, the ones that know how to play the game. Uh, the ones that know how to, that understand it. Uh, uh, when you leave the house, I ain't got no business worried about what you're doing as a man. I don't need to be trying to check your pussy. Babe, where you been? What you been? What you I don't, but as a woman, you're gonna be worried about what I'm doing as a man. So what if you find out a woman's lying to you? You cut her off? Uh if she can lie to make me if she can lie to make me believe it, I ain't got no problem with a lie. So as long as you don't find out, you cool. Listen, lie and make me believe it. Mm. Tell me a good enough lie where I believe it, baby. <laughs> if you gonna lie to me, tell me one good enough where I can believe it, motherfucker. And we I ain't got no problem. I ain't got no problem with you lying to me if you can make me believe it. Hmm. <laughs> Dude, what you think, man? Man, that hoe cold. <laughs> man, that hoe cold. Listen, man, you don't lie. Fuck that shit. I lie. Yeah, I lie. She gonna lie. Your kid go lie. I'm looking at traits and characteristics. Nigga, she lying for a reason. Like I'm lying for a reason. Uh, Fuck, I'm gonna give nigga. I lie like a motherfucker. Yeah, nigga. To protect her feelings, so baby, lie to me to protect mine too, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you love me, <laughs> if you really love me, don't feelings. tell me the truth. Protect my feelings, don't protect you, but at the same time. I just uh, think it hit I guess different. I'm a, I guess I'm a type of nigga that's more like this here. I overstand, which mean that I always have an open door policy. Nigga, that's your pussy. But it hit which di- mean that if you goddamn me let somebody get in that pussy, man, let me know. It hit different when a woman cheat, though. Man, I don't, I don't give a Cause fuck. Cause it's emotional with them. I, with us, it ain't, right. we just, we it, just doing it all, us. It's all depends if you got the stomach to vomit, nigga. I ain't got the stomach to take See, the nigga. See, I'm the nigga, nigga that got the stomach to know me. that me this you. nigga fuck, oh, oh, you fucking with that nigga, cool. If, if I bought you Come bread, on, I'm, I'm taking I'm, that bread out the goddamn nigga hole. I go fuck. He fucking my That's too much go. energy, though, man. I listen, ain't to... listen. The, the thought, the, 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 the thought of that nigga got that dick in my woman. My dick ain't even gonna get hard fucking yeah, that woman. I'm, I'm gonna tell this girl, man, nigga, fuck my woman. I don't wanna fuck you. I'm gonna do what he did. Listen, man, that nigga, fuck they was going to do. Yeah. Man, my dick, man, I'm gonna be hurt, nigga, fuck my woman. Man, my dick ain't gonna work. 100%. Boy, I'm gonna cry like a motherfucker, nigga, fuck my woman. <laughs> what? Nigga. Nah, I can't stomach that, dude. I can do all the fucking in the world, but boy, my woman go fuck, boy, I can't stomach that. 
<laughs> man, that'll make a nigga go get. I gotta take what cold what I do. That'll make a nigga go get saved. Give your life to the Lord. I don't even care. Like I'm, I'm just one of those individuals that look at life like this here. I mean, this shit ain't, this shit ain't forever. That what, that what I look at it like, nigga. That that pussy. It's just your time. It's just my time, homie. Yeah. But it's gonna be a time where she gotta move on and whatever it is. You but just she, don't know when. Ain't nobody dying together no more, homie. Mm. That shit is extinct. I'm just keeping this Social shit one thousand. That shit is extinct. If you think you finna get in a relationship and die with that pussy, nigga, you finna be crazy in the motherfucker. I'm finna be crazy in the motherfucker because I ain't get it with now, bitch. You don't think long term relationships? Uh, Homie, what is a long term relationship now? Six, seven years? What's a long term relationship? Let's keep it real now. Uh, I've been. You've been you been doing it for a long time with every celebrities and everybody. A long term. I've been married five. Don't look like my wife going nowhere, and I'm a low down, dirty, riding motherfucker. <laughs> I've been married five years. I'm a low down, dirty, rotten motherfucker, and it, and that woman act like I'm I'm a good motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying bullshit? No, nigga, I'm talking about nigga. Has, she act like she happily married with me and look, nigga, submissive and loving and kind and still act like I'm telling the truth when I'm lying. That's called that remote working, that positive energy going one way. Oh, oh, uh, uh, well, uh, well, well, well. This 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 all this this all she keeps stressing. Uh, she took a vow before God. And she not gonna break that vow for me and nobody else because she took the vow before God and it's a covenant. So she understand what a vow and a covenant is. I don't know what the fuck it is. She do. So she's more in fear of her belief in what a vow before God is. So if some people still standing on the vows, if some people understand what a covenant is. See, when you get into a relationship, y'all ain't got the covenant. Y'all just fucking. So that's that's more that's more detriment. So there's no blessing that can come from that because y'all aren't un uh, under the covenant. So here y'all are trying to make shit work, but you don't have a covenant. You don't have no covering. So it's easy for y'all to say, fuck you, motherfucker, I'm going. But boy, man, you done took a vow and you got a covenant. Uh, man, some people ain't, they go die with that. Uh, my grandmama, my granddaddy married 50 years. Uh, yeah. So you still believe in long that it co yeah. things collapse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still believe in love. I still, I, I still think love overrides everything. Dewberry said, "Fuck good. that, ain't shit yeah. lasting." It's uh, say, homie, listen. Uh, I, 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 I hate to say this, homie. Uh, hey, listen. Hey, nigga, my wife can leave me and take everything. Nigga, love is what. Nigga, love is what make a nigga change. Nigga, niggas been so rotten. Them women that stayed with them rotten niggas, she loved them niggas and the good niggas. That's what's been the antidote. The one, the, don't nobody love no more. And the love ain't real. You can't love me, homie, if you catch me lying and you walk away from me. Because my mama caught me lying so many times, she kept loving me. Caught me stealing out of her. You know how many times we lied to our mothers intentionally? And that's that love the woman have to have. That's the love you got to have for her. Or y'all will keep walking away in every relationship you do. I think social media fucked that up. Social media, no, 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 no. Social media ain't fucked nothing up. Because listen, what you, 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 you fucked up when you get on social media. You already fucked up when you get on social media based off your household. Who, who was loving your mama or who was whooping your mama? That's where you fucked up at. Social media don't fuck you up. You learn how to love from when your mama gets you and say, oh, baby, look at you. And when she bring you closer and pat you on your chest as she's breastfeeding you, um, this is how you learn how to love, homie. Your nurture. Then when you start walking. What you, who, where do you see, where is love, what love do you see? You fucked up when you start getting on the phone already. Because your mother gave you a phone while she was on the phone. And she didn't do your ABCs. She made you a chicken pot pie and didn't make you a meal. So you can use that. For, so you already fucked up. So I mean, social media didn't do this, homie. Our family lives did this. So you saying when you get on social media, I'm asking you, you get on social media, you see that explore page, all them beautiful women on there. Most of them been molested in their homes. That's why they showing their bodies. But I'm just saying when- That didn't fuck it up, homie. They was fucked up when they got on there. They been molested. Why you think most of them get naked, homie? Look at my ass, look at my titties. Because someone told them this is what you're supposed to look at when they touch them. That's their value. That's why they ain't got their degrees. That's why they got their ass turned sideways. You can see a print, nigga, pussy, titties, nipples. Homie, that ain't got, that's not them. Somebody did that to them. No different than the gay. Homie, that, homie, it's never been about 
ass and titties with the woman. But because, homie, you got to understand, nigga, as far as little girls can remember, we've been pinching their booties. The little boys that's been pinching their booties, touching their titties. When they go home, they got an uncle or cousin doing it. When they go over their friend's house, they got to, all since they, throughout their life. So when we finally see them on these Explore pages, you think they just, nah, homie, they was conditioned. My point is, though, and I get what you're saying, but my point is that when things go sour in a relationship, people are quicker to move on because they already have options. The woman's the not. Internet. The woman's not quicker to move on. The woman. Put you don't up, think a woman already know the next nigga they gonna fuck with? They, they already got them lined up. We do too. We got the next bitch lined up too, nigga. We all got them. Come on, my nigga. Let's not just put it on the woman. When we get with a woman, nigga, we still got two or three bitches we can get with when she don't. Yeah, nigga. Whether we say it's a friend or not. Hmm. She got it too. Guess what? Because she know you got it. You're more likely to cheat before she is. That's in every, the niggas is more likely to fuck up for the woman is. The woman is more likely to forgive you for cheating than you are for her. She cheat one time, it's out of her. She can catch you 50 times and still love you and you can come play like you ain't. Right. Come on, homie. So the man is fucked up. It ain't the woman. Newberry said he's staying, though. He don't care for girl cheating. So, I mean, because at the end of the day, you got to understand what you want, homie. Uh, if my woman like, cheat on me, my, I ain't leaving her home. Like because we done thing, built something together. Yeah, because my thing is what you want. It's not about what everybody else wants. <laughs> homie, listen. It's you easy. You only one got to wake up every day with your stomach and your feelings knowing how you feel, homie. You Nobody don't know that. I done been around a lot of niggas to play the tough guy, the gangster role, whatever it is. But when it come down to you having a certain kind of feeling towards a woman, nigga, I won't give a damn. Nigga, you gonna have that feeling, homie. Nigga, a motherfucker play a game mentally. Oh, I'm finna go fuck with her. I'm gonna go fuck with her. But nigga, why you fucking these hoes? Guess who you thinking about? That one motherfucker, my nigga. You lying to me. I don't think about her till I'm That's riding home. Think. Yeah, I don't, shit, I don't be thinking about her till I'm riding home, what I'm going to tell her. Uh, yeah, nah, I'll be, shit, she had father for my mind. I ain't going to be able to do it if I'm thinking about her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't think about her till I'm pulling in the driveway. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, just being honest. Hey, Dewberry, we did a hell of an interview, bro, uh, uh, last week. Yeah, we did, bro. And you, we talked about a lot. Um, your 18 years in prison. You actually said Charleston was a a, a shot caller. Yeah. So you that's a you stamped them for real. Like, well, you really co-signed everything Charleston says in, in our interviews. Uh, it's just that people don't want to understand the reality of this shit. You got a lot of niggas that know. Like I tell people all the time. Tell and you. shout out to the homie Five for Jeter. He, he went on yeah, that platform. Exactly. Yeah. Five for Jeter. But you got to realize, like, Texas is not that fucking big, homie. Texas is not that big. So it's like doing time in TYC, doing time like that. You gonna, you probably can run into somebody that done time within them 92 all the way up to like 95, from 91. 90, you can run into people like that. And they can really tell you stories about. Individuals, right. we call it wall talk. So niggas know that if you did time in TYC in Guinness, where nobody, everybody in Guinness was down there for murder, capital murder, attempted murder. That was it. It was a, it's, it's a high profile campus, all right. So niggas know Charleston White. This nigga was, he was, he was one of them niggas. He was about that action. You know what I'm saying? And he was always willing to put that work in. But at the same time, that nigga was smart, homie. Mm. But he- Was he always like this? That nigga was very intelligent. I swear he was. The nigga was very intelligent because he read books every day. Yeah, homie, I, I passed my GED like when I was 15. I, I made like one of the high schools. I Thanks, tore it up. Uh, I, I scored high on the SAT. Uh, I've been taking college courses. Homie, I really should have been a lawyer. Uh, but because of the culture, homie. So that's why I attacked the culture so much. Uh, uh, nigga, the culture fucked us up. Uh, it fucked me up, homie. Uh, the culture says uh, it's not cool to be smart. 
Ah, oh, man, ah, oh. you know, so the culture did that, homie. So uh, I wanted to fit in with the culture. Uh, but nigga, uh, I was acting. Mm-hmm. Uh, I done seen all the movies. Uh, yeah, homie, uh, I was acting. Uh, and I and I'm a brave heart. And a little nigga, you know, nigga was a brave heart, homie. Uh, and that shit was fun. Uh, be, be, because it 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 it's, it was our fun for for that era. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what I realized is, homie, uh, we were some young soldiers with with, with no guidance and, and, and no direction, uh, and, and we picked up something. Uh, that only had a, 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 it was only a one way trip to the prison or, or the graveyard. Uh, and, and, and I was able to jump off before prison. But I was pushed off. I, I was pushed off uh, because people saw potential in me. Uh, people was able to see past the, 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 the bullshit hardened facade, uh, the, the gangster image that I was trying to portray. Uh, because they saw me reading books. Mm. Just seen a nigga reading Danielle Steele love novels. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You still read today or not? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, I still read today. How do you find time in your own fucking IG? Uh, uh, I fly yeah. when I'm Same flying. Plane. Yeah, so I'm on, yeah. Yeah, in the See, hotel. I, I, I turn my Wi-Fi on my phone when I fly. Uh, I do sometimes. Uh, but nigga, I'm gonna at least read a chapter or two. A day or just? A day. Yeah, or something. The newspaper, I'm gonna read a, I'm gonna read a chapter or two or something, homie. You gotta read every day, homie. A uh, 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 reading is critical to to making good choices and decisions. I remember one time we was on the phone. He was giving me like three or four books to read. I'm yeah. like, how the fuck do you? How do you know this shit? Uh, your mind, your mind is a, is a file cabinet. Uh, everything you read, homie, it goes in the file cabinet, and 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 it comes out when you need it. What so type you, of book though? Like uh, what type of book? Any kind of book, homie. Self help book, history, knowledge, science, uh, scientific. Uh, nigga, science even fiction. Even if it's not true. Even if you it's just not true. You want to read it, even uh, if it's not true. Well, that's why my wordplay is so good. Mm. That's why nigga can't talk to me. He ain't read enough words. Mm. That dictionary ain't good enough. So, uh, so, 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 reading also helps you with writing, homie. Knowing where to put the commas, quotations. So, uh, yeah, nigga, I was y'all supposed to be a little smart, nigga, homie. But you know, uh, yeah, they told us gangster shit with what they. Wait, were. dude, how much? How many pounds did you lose? Cause in the comments, that's every what everybody's saying is the weight loss. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I went on a journey, homie. When I was in the gym. Yeah. And I had the sun suit on. Man, I had. A, I told myself I want to lose like twenty five pounds. Mm-hmm. I found myself getting too far out of out of shape. Mm-hmm. So I put on the sun suit. I stopped eating. I meat. remember that. I stopped eating meat, homie. Uh, I started eating one meal a day. He just, just, you the same way. Just so I can be yeah. able to get myself back to what I mean, I got a, my knees fucking with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So everything is discipline, homie. And when you hear people speak, you got to understand they don't have discipline. I have discipline, homie. I was in the sun running in a sun suit, my nigga. Niggas down there 100 degrees out there. Nigga, then I'm running, then I'm getting the ring spawning, my nigga. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So. I put a lot of dedication to get why to lose. Cause you lose, <coughs> then you build. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? My stomach was like this, homie. It was. Then it was big, oh, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to sit down and just look at my pictures. And my nigga had titties one time. I looked up and said, my nigga got titties. For real, you gotta look, you gotta, you gotta analyze yourself. <laughs> I'm on camera, I'm on, come on man, nah, we ain't doing that. You changed your diet too? Yeah, I, when I stopped eating meat. Man, he would, hey, homie, he, we were traveling, homie. He he, he was committed. Man, that, that nigga do, I, I man. I seafood too much. Oh, uh, nigga, this what, you can, you can, this is what I always tell people. You can do whatever you want to do, homie. It's just about you. You can do whatever you want to do. Nigga, you can wake up and do things to exercise your mind hmm. so you don't eat. You see what I'm saying? And wait, damn. Cause when you be bored, that's when you be hungry. When you get yeah. bored yeah. and you sitting around, you gonna grab something. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta program your mind to do something. So I go on live or something, or I do something like this here. See, nigga, gotta know that it's different stuff that you do to 
take your mind off eating, 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 eating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, man, you know, that's something that I wanted to do. Yeah. I took the time out with the sun and suits on. Every, I'm talking about out there in the sun. He should have let me get some of that belly fat and give me a chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should have went laid down together and got one of them BBL and let him blow up his chest like them boys did. So, you know, that's, 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 that, was my, that, was my, that was something I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's a blessing because I wanted to do it and I did it, man. Yeah, you know I salute my nigga, homie, because uh, I, 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 I knew he wasn't going to hang in there. And we were going on the road. We were eating at good places. Man, my, my nigga was going across the street to get a salad. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, and then we had. I was to, going across the street to get a style oh, yeah, man, boy, get a Then we had. Then I had to start thinking, man, nigga, you being inconsiderate. Y'all stopping getting meat, nigga. Start thinking about Dewberry, cause, cause you know now I'm going to go eat. I ain't thinking my nigga ain't eating meat. You know what I'm saying? So he got to go walk across the street, go that way. So then nigga had to start thinking, man, you you want to support your nigga? So mm -hmm. nigga start thinking, okay, when we eat, we got to think about Dewberry too. He ain't eating no meat. So uh, yeah, my nigga was committed. And then one day I says, nigga, you don't want to start eating meat again. Yeah, I started to need something. Man, I'm gonna tell you something. Once a lady told me, she said, we was in Beaumont. We was in Beaumont. She had her own garden. And I was telling her what I did. Cause I, I stopped eating cold turkey. Right. Like cold turkey, I just stopped. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And I explained it to her. And she started telling me some shit. She was like, you're not getting the nutrients you probably mm -hmm. get to go to your head, though. Mm -hmm. She said, so called you cold turkey. I seen how that nigga was looking at her when she was saying you that. You lost, you losing weight, but by you not eating or getting that protein, you gonna find yourself getting dizzy. And I swear, homie, I said, boy. I seen that look on his face. Nigga, I, nigga, cause I had found myself getting dizzy. But when she gave me that game, I said, okay, let's put that protein in their body. Mm -hmm. Let's put that protein in their body, that's for the brain. And then I noticed everything. You hear me? So now I'm on that transformation. Nigga, I'm finna go on some build up. You nigga might see me in six months looking like a bodybuilder. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm getting a surgery. I'm programming myself. You're getting, I'm getting, you getting the BBL? <laughs> no, he, nah, you getting the band man? The band man? I don't get no BBL. I want the Bruce Lee body. Yeah, I want, I want the skinny Bruce Lee body with you all the cuts. You gotta add the muscle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we, going, we heading into 2024. Uh, what's some goals? What's you know? What's your plans? And also, what what's your favorite city to go to? Charleston, Atlanta, Atlanta, really? uh, Atlanta. Uh, yeah, I have some more goddamn fun in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah Bobby having fun in Atlanta. Uh, that's that's where I vibe at, homie, with black people. Uh, mm. uh. In, in the Carolinas, so so the black states, homie, Mississippi, uh, so all the southern states, homie, uh, because I get love there, I get to get the food I like, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, homie. So it, it's between Mississippi, uh, Atlanta, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Florida. So that area, yeah, yeah. niggas, like Mississippi gonna appreciate that. Yeah, homie, what well, uh, Mississippi, no, uh, the the elders, homie, black, uh, real black people appreciate me. Hundred percent. Yeah, especially in the South, real, real, real black, especially the elders, homie. <clears throat> so, uh, so, so that love that I get in, in those cities, uh, uh, the 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 the, the season kind of food because they don't season their food, and, you know. So, nah, nigga, uh, it's like going over your cousin's house, and, and you done stayed two nights, and it's time to go, and you say. Man, go ask your mama, can I stay another night? Yeah. My mama gonna say, no, nah, go ask. If your mama say, yeah. So, homie, that's, so it be like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Shit, 2024, though. I mean, I already know you're gonna be in movies. The Aiden, uh, the Aiden Ross. Uh, the, the, mo the, the movie We Out Here that I shot in Phoenix uh, about the Atlanta Freak Nick. Uh, from, from what I, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but from what I was told, it was picked up by HBO for a TV series. Uh, we also been nominated for some film festival awards, so uh, I'm gonna be at some film festival awards. Uh, we got a comedy tour, 20 uh, February the 1st, the Underground Railroad comedy tour, where we going through all the Underground Railroad passage states. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I got a lot. Uh, uh, I, I'm partnering with uh, 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 a paintball, uh, a, a guy that created a, a violent intervention program that they use paintball for, for for mental health trauma for inner city black children that's dealing with gun violence. Mm. So, so I'm gonna become a national uh, consultant and a spokesman uh, that's gonna be partnering uh, 
with the likes of some major uh, 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 sports names okay. uh, where, where black children will be able to participate in, in, in paintballing and ultimately uh, ha have an opportunity to get into Olympics because that is an Olympic sport game. Right. And so with that being said, that'll help us get to the United Nations and identify us as a nation of people by way of participating in the Olympics. Right. Uh, and it's all geared for, for, for mental health uh, inner city black youth that's dealing with gun violence. And, and, and they got this from uh, the military, uh, because they use this for, for counseling and therapy, paintball for military, and also police officers. But they also noticed that when, when Chief Keith uh, left Chicago, he went to L.A. And they noticed he wasn't getting in no more trouble. And, and part of one of the reasons why he was able to change and evolve and grow, they were using paintball and his mental health therapy, him, him, him and all they his were. friends. So that's, that's almost like an evidence-based program uh, that's going to be introduced uh, uh, to the old block ends, uh, mm -hmm. uh, e everybody that got a hood will, will have an opportunity to have a paintball team mm -hmm. and, 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 and generate uh, funding and financing and getting paid for being able to participate. So this is going to be a national uh, program that's going to be geared for violent intervention. So uh, that's going to come coming next year. So I'm going to be a part of that. Uh, me and Cam Newton got something. Uh, me and Dewberry's documentary. Uh, we've been talking with some of Mayweather's business partners. So our documentary is being you know, bought and just gonna be presented. I like how so. you. That's hard. I like how you and Dewberry like a. You keep him around. Like yeah. A duo, you know uh. Well, he 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 his own brand. So yeah. so so what I did, homie, I put my nigga on stage with me, and 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 and, and, and early early on into this, I realized everybody was making it about me, but they wasn't about him. And I'm saying, but but I brought him with me. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm noticing I'm making money, but my nigga ain't making money. So I looked at him and said, man, start your YouTube channel. Mm. So we started there from, from monetizing YouTube channel. Then we went to the game related page. Right. So we split oh. the game related podcast channel. So then we started merchandising. Uh, so now he is on brand. That's dope. That's man. hard. Yeah. That's dope, man. That shit. Well, hey, man, I appreciate y'all. Uh, safe travels on the trip tomorrow. Yeah. And um, happy holidays. Yeah, Merry Christmas, man. Hey, I Merry still Christmas. celebrate Christmas. I got some money. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody.